It's that time again. 10 minutes, but this time we'll be doing some particles. Let's go. Alright, so open up your scene. Um, for this I'm using my awesome home scene that I use in like most of the tutorials so you can follow along and to start we're gonna create a, a new effect particle system make sure you put it inside the house like that go to your inspector and go to shape put it on a box and drag these small dots all the way out to cover the whole area go to max particles and put them on something like 100 Make sure the simulation space is set to world. The duration we're gonna put that on um, 30. The start speed we're gonna put that on 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.1. Yeah, 0.1 is fine. The start lifetime we're gonna put it on 30 as well. Starting color is white, but if you want to change it to blue for example like the most recent sleep worlds you can just do it or if you like to have multiple colors you can create a random color just put a few different kind of colors in it like maybe some red maybe some green as well and some purple you can see that you will have different kind of colors now so it depends a little bit on what you want um, but for me I'm just gonna stay at one color make it bluish in start size we're gonna select a random between two constants first one is 0.1 and the second one is 0.3 um maybe a little bit smaller like 0 0.05 by 0 0.2 to create small small particles but maybe i like them even even smaller like yeah this looks great in a noise just check it on and we're gonna put the strength on 0.1 and you can see it start to randomize the movement slightly frequency we can put it on um, one that should be fine maybe 0.5 is fine as well to create a little less movement but just tweak with it a little bit also check on size over lifetime we want them to start out of nothing and disappear into nothing again so select the graph you see over here and just select the end point and move it to the middle and the little lines over here just select and move it all the way to the left and this one to the top a little bit we can see it start fading in now I'm gonna double press in the corner over here and we're gonna start fading it out again making so I was checking my statistics on YouTube guess what only 5% of you are subscribed for well, all the hours that I put into creating creating <laughs> creating these videos 
subscribe now. Do it, it's just one second away. Push that button. If you want, you can also add some trills. Just select the trills. Everything should be fine. Maybe create the lifetime a little bit less, like 0.1. And check world space because it's gonna be in the world. And the width of trill, put it on point, uh, point 0.3, that should be fine. Yeah. So now we're gonna create a new material. Create material. And I'm gonna name this particle. There already is a particle texture for it so you can select that one um, let's see this is the we're gonna select this one we're gonna make it fade we check emission select the same particle again uh, press on HDR and we're gonna just put it on point four or something that should be fine uncheck specular highlights and reflections we don't need them enable gpu instancing because there will be a lot of particles you can see it's already starting to look great so select our particle system again now drag and drop the particle texture on uh, the material and do the same for the trail you can see there are now slowly moving with trails looking good also in here you can just change the color to any color you like I like them blue and this can be white and that's it you have some beautiful particles in there and that's basically how you can add particles to your scene to your world and um, this is just one example you can do a lot with the particles and if you've got anything specific you want to create with it but you don't know how to just Send me a message and I'll help you out wherever I can. I want to thank my patrons again for this month. Probably over there. For the support, of course. And um, make sure you follow this channel. But thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. And happy building. Bye-bye.